I was a customer service manager at Hinky Dinky at 17th and South Street. And in comes walking in this handsome strapping man in his police uniform. I saw this very attractive service manager in the front where I used to stop in at Hinky Dinky to get my fruits and vegetables for the day. And um, she asked if I wanted her phone number. And of course I said I did. And then uh, she asked what my phone number was. And I told her I was unlisted. <laughs> and walked right the out store. the door. <laughs> we were members of uh, First Women's Church. We mm -hmm. had uh, gotten married there. Otis Young had uh, overseen our, our uh, wedding ceremony and our daughter had been baptized at First Plymouth Church. Um, she had been in um, many Christmas plays and held the sheep as tight as she could hold that sheep and uh, sang in the, in the children's choir. We were enjoying the evening together and our daughter, Camden, she asked if uh, we could go in the pool one more time. And so, of course, I said we could. We have a traditional four foot deep by 24 foot round pool. And I've done a signature flop. It's not a dive and it's not a flip. It used to be like the lift and ice deep plunge. And it made waves and it was, it was fun and Mm -hmm. He would laugh and we would laugh. And... Had been doing it for 20 years without one issue. But... Remember I hit the bottom of the pool with my head and instantly felt some pain and some light and the accordion effect. My hands weren't working and my legs weren't working. And then my, my wife Jody yelled if he needed help and I nodded yes. So she yelled at Camden to call 911 and she jumped in. I prayed that she'd be able to get the strength to hold me up. I'm so proud of our daughter. You know, I, I got to listen to her, uh, you know, talk to 911 and trying to compose herself and trying to help her dad at the same time. Um, and I don't know, I don't, I don't really know what I was thinking because it just happens so fast and you just, go through the motions and, and you hope that you know can the I can get the dog in the house and can the paramedics get through the locked gate and you start thinking about how am I going to help those people come and help my husband. After it happened and Jerome was loaded on the, the ambulance um, that's really when everything hit. That's where you started to think the worst and that's where you started to cry and that's when our daughter to started to say, I hope daddy's not in a, in a sip and puff wheelchair. And that was hard not to uh, be able to tell your daughter, everything's going to be okay, because you know it's not going to be okay. And I just remember crying uncontrollably, because it was just so different. With this accident, um... The courage is just to uh, be the best person that I can be. And um, with our daughter Camden, I mean, it took her a little over a year to even touch me or touch the wheelchair. And when she would say that uh, she put me in the wheelchair, that hurt. And um, she did say at one point that when I was at the hospital that She'd cry so hard she could hardly catch her breath to go to sleep. I remember waking up in the morning and putting the covers over my head and going, this is all a dream, this is a dream. Having a 14-year-old daughter who had the rest of her life ahead of her and that this was a pinnacle point for me of where either I get up and I face the challenges that God has given me, and I do it gracefully. And I teach her how to be a good, graceful person. Or I can be bitter, and I can be angry, I can hate the world, I can continue to hate God, and show her that way in life too. When we were driving home from Brian West after we had just heard the news that Jerome had been paralyzed, she looked at me and she said, you will not turn to alcohol, mom. You will not turn to drugs. 
you will not do a list of these things because this has happened. And they looked at her and they said, and nor will you. If we want to be nasty, negative, ugly people, then that will come back to bite us. Or if we took that higher road and we tried to be better because of it, then those are the gifts then that we would receive back. We learned a lot in that short drive from Brian West to our house um, about ourselves and life and, and what, what paths we could have, could have chose. I decided I was ready to go back to work. In all of my years on the police department, I worked hand in hand with Lincoln Public Schools. I felt strongly about the uh, public school system. Well, I was fortunate to uh, be selected for an interview at Cooser. I've always enjoyed kids or children, 830 kids at that school. And I mentor a lot of the children that need help with the ABCs or just give hugs and um, help them with socializing. And uh, it's been a good fit getting back to work and it's been very beneficial. All the way through this process, I mean, starting from the accident itself until today, I've had just uh, remarkable things happening to me and for me and for our family. That's not just us. I mean, we're being guided and I've always felt that. I've always said through basically my whole life that if you can turn a negative into a positive situation, you become a better person. And I firmly believe that. And uh, we can't change what's happened, but we can change others uh, by telling our story.